Hello and welcome to NBC News. You are watching English Bulletin with me, Ratnakar. Here is the news in detail. The Nagpur district on Monday reported 21 fresh cases and zero death attributed to novel coronavirus. In the last 24 hours, 42 people successfully recovered from the virus bound disease, taking the number of cumulative recovered to 4,68,199. Out of total 21 new cases, 19 were from the city, while two cases belong to the rural area. Well, no death was reported from Nagpur district once again. With the latest update, the total number of cases has surged to 4,77,352, while the number of deaths stands still at 9,034. After the fresh update, the total active cases in the city now stand at 119, including asymptomatic cases, while the recovery rate of the district stands at 98.08%. The official of the district administration as well as the Nagpur Municipal Corporation are appealing to citizens not to become complacent as the cases and casualties are steadily declining. Sensation prevailed for Tala Lake vicinity on Monday afternoon after a 19-year-old boy allegedly committed suicide by jumping into the lake while riding his bike. Some onlookers reportedly alerted the police control room, following which a squad of Ambadari police rushed to the spot. Though cops have managed to fish out the bike, the search for the body is still underway. According to sources, the boy had dialed his couple of friends before jumping into the lake though the exact reason behind him taking the extreme step couldn't be ascertained immediately. Ambassador police station officials have registered a case under the relevant section of the Indian Penal Code and are investigating the matter further. A counselling centre to provide information about professional education to 12th pass students is being started in the Mayor Meeting Hall in the headquarters of the Nagpur Municipal Corporation in civil lines from Monday. It is pertinent to mention that Mayor Dashan Kathiwari had ordered the NMC to start a student counselling centre. Online system is used for the competitive exams for professional education for 12th pass students. The admission of the students are confirmed after various rounds, but the poor students do not have facilities and they lose a year. The admission for the professional courses are decided as per the merit list of the result of the online exam. Detailed information about what preference list should be given as per the marks obtained by the students after result of all such competitive exams are announced and how to pass through various rounds. Suitabadi police station officials acted swiftly and booked a 47-year-old man for allegedly manhandling a cop on duty and obstructing police from performing their duties. The accused person has been identified as Vinod Amarnath Oike, a resident of Gaulipura locality in Durampet. According to police sources, the police control room had received a call about a scuffle that broken out in the vicinity of the Bole Petrol Pump Square on Sunday evening. Subsequently, the complainant police constable Shailendra Thakur, who is attached to Sitabadi police station, was sent to the spot. When Thakur approached the trouble spot, the accused Oike reportedly picked up an argument with the cop and manhandled him brutally following which a complaint was lodged by Thakur against the accused Wiki under Section 332-353-427 of the Indian Penal Code. Further investigation in the case is underway. A 34-year-old woman made a tragic end while trying to get on a running train on Sunday here in Nagpur. The incident occurred at around 11 a.m. on platform number 2 of the Nagpur railway station. The deceased has been identified as Savita Chandra Mehta, a resident of Prayagraj, Uttar Pradesh. Savita was in a town to meet her pregnant sister living in Kajipet area. Savita was accompanied by a 10-year-old and a 7-year-old boy and an 18-year-old brother. They were traveling in 02792 Danapur Secunderabad Express. When the train stopped, Savita alighted from the train to get food for the children accompanying her. While she was busy buying food, the train started running. Some passengers got on running train. Similarly, Savita also tried to get on the running train from the platform. However, she lost her balance and crashed on the platform. Well, that's all from this bulletin. For more updates in and around the city, stay tuned with NBC News. Till then, Ratnakar says goodbye. Please take very good care of yourself and family. Keep watching NBC News. Sajdi khai, bina chupai.